Touched our boy. Him. Sabafa. Moving ahead. happening here and it's only getting worse people are acting uh, uh, super Whoa. weird B purple glowing pot plant things are sprouting up all around town suspicious vans in federal agents have invaded the streets question the locals <laughs> uh, maybe stick to the scientists and uh, military personnel they know the truth one thing everyone will tell you something's going on in that secret lab Okay, now let's see if about the... Wait, what's happening? They found me! I'm losing you! This is just the beginning! Solve the mystery of strength! Experience all that this community has to offer, and more. Strangerville, <laughs> which changes you. Before we discover the truth and reveal the dark secrets and mysteries that hide within the town of Strangerville, I want to inform you that spoilers of the main storyline are inevitable. I also want to make clear from the very beginning my investigation is not about what you already know but what you don't know. These are the mysteries they don't want you to know. This theory will give you an insight into the real story behind the mysteries of Strangerville. So we start from the very beginning and let the theory begin. The Sims 2 base game came with three worlds, Flesh and View, Verona Wheel and Strange Town. And Strange Town was the most mysterious world of them all. It's a world where serial killers and evil human experiments took place. A world with aliens. And the world where you can find the famous Bella Goth as a townie but with no memories from her past. The developers have already confirmed Bella were abducted by the aliens at Don Lothario's house and crashed in Strange Town. It's something I get asked uh, quite a bit about on Twitter and I never have an answer for it because the absence of one is, I think, a bit more interesting. It's true. I actually, on the other hand, have answered it numerous times. But <laughs> I don't even know there is an answer, so... So, well, Bella did disappear in the little uh, photos of her family history. She had been uh, hanging out with Don Lothario. They were looking into the telescope and she was abducted by aliens. That is true. So she was supposed to show up in Strange Town, and due to a bug in the code, <laughs> she never showed up anywhere, <laughs> um, which was extra mysterious and unintended. 
Stranger Will is The Sims 4 version of Strange Town, but there is a problem. You see, The Sims 4 exists in an alternate timeline and therefore don't relate to the other games. So things that happened in The Sims 2 might never happen in The Sims 4. However, I'm going to put Strange Town on the side for this video because Stranger Will is actually also based on something completely different. set to be in the early 80s. Evidence of this can be seen all around the town such as the VHS tape logo alongside with a sign of a disc also known as a phonograph. The only computers that do exist are either in the library or at the secret lab. The time era makes sense since Stranger Things plays out in 1983 to 84 and 85. Hawkins, which is the fictional location and town for Stranger Things, is very similar to this version in Stranger Will. Even the public library is at the center of this town. Facts and data can always be found at the library, the public library. According to stories from a long long time ago, a purple light was seen in the sky before a massive explosion. Since then, this town has acted strange and therefore perhaps no one wanted to stay in which made the area soon to be forgotten, the forgotten town. But according to all newspaper, also found from the public library, the military arrived in Stranger Will to open their new base close to the crater and the city council promised new jobs for the struggling town. The military built their new high-tech super science facility in the hole. And the residents was eager to modernize the town. However, this never happened people started to notice something was not right. Secrets and rumors were spreading around the town, which are a topic that interested a lot of conspiracy theorists around the world, including me. Secrets were not the only thing that was spreading around the world. Odd alien looking plants and these plants Process of a strange fruit. Eating those, well, let's say don't eat those. We already see this effect of this fruit just by looking around the world. Some of the Sims walks, talks, looks and laughing. Very strange compared to others. Wide open eyes and a smile that will give you nightmares. Try to speak with them and they will respond to you how possessed they are of something called the mother. Okay, it's really creepy, don't you think, Hermione? Before 1983, Hawkins was a quiet and uneventful town like Stranger Will. The last person to be reported missing was the summer of 1923. The last person to go missing here was in uh, summer 23. I know this is something related to one specific town. Strange Town. 
to be more precise, from The Sims 2, the PSP version, involving the maid who worked with none other than Bella Goth herself. Emily Emory. Something is extraordinary with Emily. She looks and acts like she is just an ordinary sim, but she is actually dead. And guess what year Belagoth maid died? Yes, in 1923. The main goal for me as a detective is to find all four villains in Strangerville. In order to catch them, we need to start with our first clue. The US Department of Energy, also known as the military base in Stranger Will. Hawkins National Laboratory architecture compared with the building at the military base in Stranger Will is uncanny spot on. Same exterior, same satellite disks on top. Hawkins Laboratory is connected with the US Department of Energy and is most likely controlled by either CIA or NSA. The fact that federal authorities are monitoring the entire operation of this laboratory is not the strangest part. They abduct children to experiment on. One of the child subjects, known as number 11, made contact with a monster and opened an interdimensional gate. Yeah, the only necessary information we need to know for now. I mean, using science experiments on a child doesn't this sound very familiar to you? You might have heard the stories about a sim named Nervous Subject. He was experimented on by the evil scientists Cersei and Loki Beakers. Let's talk energy. Evidence of this Department of Energy can be found all over Strange Will with a logo. This logo led me over to a very special lot, the remains of a cargo airplane. The mirror at the bar, the paintings, the bed, the cockpit and many more. This symbol can be found at the bar where the military personnel hangs out. Not only have this bar this symbol but also a sign on number 11. Look at the camera. The camera. What? Not the loudspeaker. Above you, to the right. Stay close to me, Hermione. A picture I came across was a helicopter with the number 74, which represents the year 1974. And if you have seen Stranger Things, this should sound familiar to you. 1974 were the year the tabletop role-playing game Dungeons of Dragons were first published. The game that pretty much the entire story is based on. And the monsters in this game is somewhat linked to the monsters in Stranger Things. This means it is an evidence I can use in my theory. There is another painting, the military airport. So this logo is obviously connected to the military base, same as the previous picture. The wings and the bolt of lightning means air force since most of the objects which are related to this symbol are combined with aircraft. The location here is important too 
because this is the reference from a famous site from Stranger Things simply known as the Junkyard. Oh yeah. Yeah, I saw that. According to our first suspect, George, and the description mentioned in the game, this was the cargo plane of George Cahill, also known as the Old Penelope and has been traveling across the world for many years, but unfortunately, a freak storm while flying over Stranger Will caused his plane to crash. And has put her out of commission. George has lived here ever since. But there is something strange with George. He is evil and according to his traits, He's paranoid and hot-headed, even though the description tells you he means no harm and mostly keeps to himself. But this is strange will. Nothing is as it seems, since we found paintings and objects related to this symbol in his underground basement means that George is connected to the military base. George has an outfit that looks like he were a general of some sort. An important one too. So I planted a few bugs here and there, and as I suspected, George spills interesting information. Quote, They don't let me into that base anymore. Not that I would ever go back. Unquote. This could mean George saw something he shouldn't and he knows definitely what happened. But why did he lie about it? Did this cause him to hide in a basement? And just the fact that all infected seems that walking around the town, if you haven't noticed yet, they all follow a path and they all somehow end up at the cargo airplane. George is a liar. George is lying because he was the general who was in charge of the secret base before everything went out of control. And he is one huge of a coward too since he tried to escape but failed. George also said this. Bunch of cowards abandoned the lab as soon as things got rough. This quote confirms that George is actually talking about it himself and now he is hiding as a coward in his basement. He reminds me of a very important character from Stranger Things. George is one of the four villains I'm looking for. Passa Essenoi, Shrofa, Bahushu Foibi, Anduma Ganira. This is not the whole story. We have much work left to do, Hermione. Remember, we are going to reveal the secrets, what really happened at the secret lab. And the mother is not the only villain in this story.
This is just the beginning. I promise you that. 